Hi, boys and girls, welcome back. I'm so glad you're joining us today. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit again about community helpers. So I wanted to tell you the things that you're gonna need. I want you to go find scissors. And you can find either crayons or markers, whatever is easiest for you or whatever your choice is, whatever you have at your house. And I want you to find a couple things from our pack too that you got, the community helper pack. So I want you to find the worksheet that shows this on one side and this on the other. And I want you to find these. There's a little packet of some people and some cards that talk about the people. I want you to find those two, okay? We're gonna need those today. And now Mrs. Holstein's gonna read us a story. Hi, boys and girls. I am so glad that you're coming back to watch our videos. Today, I have a really neat book to read to all of you. It's called Clothesline Clues to Jobs People Do. You see this, these lines here hanging? Those are clotheslines, and they have these little pitchy clips. We actually, actually use them in our classroom a lot. They're called clothespins, and they hold the clothes up on the line. Look at the clotheslines and see every clue. Who uses these things for the jobs that they do? So we're gonna play a little guessing game. Uniform and cap, an invite for you. Big bag of letters, what job does she do? So she's got a uniform and a cap and a bag of letters. She is a mail carrier. Did you guess that? Hmm, I wonder who she's taking letters to. Milk pail and straw hat, overalls in blue, plaid shirt, bandana. What job does he do? Here's his hat. Hmm. He is a farmer. Did you guess that? Oh, he's right here. He's got a rooster and a truck. I see our mail carrier. Mm. Oven mitts and a, oops, oven mitts, apron, recipe for stew, a puffy hat and whisk. What job does he do? Mm. He is a chef. Did you guess that, boys and girls? Smock, beret, and brushes, paints of every hue, canvas and easel, what job does he do? Mm. He is an artist. Coveralls, tool belt, work gloves and glue, safety glasses, saw, what job does she do? Hmm. This looks familiar from something we learned earlier this year. <gasps> she is a carpenter. Who else was a carpenter, boys and girls? Did we learn about Jesus the carpenter? Hmm. Heavy pants, helmet, wide suspenders too, rescue coat, long hose. What job does she do? Oh, boys and girls, I think all of you can guess this one. We saw someone dressed in these clothes when you picked up your community helper packets. Let's see if we can guess. <gasps> she is a firefighter. Good work. I bet you got that one. Hmm. 
spacesuit, and jetpack, star charts to review, flight gloves, and moon boots. What job does she do? This one's tricky. She is an astronaut. There's her rocket. Look at all our friends, they're all there. Hmm. These clothes are all clues to jobs people do. Is one of these jobs just right for you? Hmm. Boys and girls, I wonder what kind of job you'll do when you grow up. That was a really fun book. Now Mrs. Wallace is going to teach you a way to play this game at home. Hi, boys and girls. Good to see you again. And we're going to get out. Mrs. Mormon showed you two, um, some papers to look for. Can you find the ones that have the people with our community helper jobs? And there's ones on the back. And then there's also some pages that have this. There's, there's I think, two of these and two of these. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scissors out. And I'm going to put my thumb in the top and as many fingers as I can in the bottom. Open, shut, open, shut. And so uh, the way I want to cut these out is I'm going to, I'm going to cut around this part here first, all the way around there, that part first. And you have to do that around all of these sheets. So it, it'll take some time to get, I'm just going to cut out one of these right now. So that's kind of the way some people like to cut out each box first. That's fine too. This is just the way that I do it. And so um, I'm going to cut around all of those. I'm just going to show you one paper. So I cut all the edges off of those. And now I'm going to cut out this zookeeper. That way. And then I turn. See, I cut down this way and then I turn my scissors. Sometimes it's tricky. Or maybe you want to go from this way. And I and be sure when you're holding your paper, you're holding it with one hand and you're cutting with the other, like this, and open and shut. Oh, there's my zookeeper. I got them all cut out. So he looks like a little card. Okay. And this is how we're going to play a game. So um, when you cut out all of your cards. Um, you'll have some that are called the clue card. Maybe mom or dad and an older sibling can help you. You find the ones that all the clue cards with all the names and you put those in one pile and you put all the community helpers in another pile. And then your uh, mom or dad, they can read what's on a clue card. They can read just like the story kind of gave us pictures. Now these are going to give you some uh, some ideas as to what to look for. So you might even lay out some of your, these cards so that you can see some of them, what they look like. So if I read this card to you, you have to look for which one of the helpers um, that this these clues will lead you to. So I'm going to say, now think, this person, this helper, I love animals. What kind of a helper loves animals? animals. I hang out with lions, tigers, and giraffes. Well, hmm, not, it's, a, it's a specific kind of animal, isn't it? It's not the ones in your house like your pets. These are ones that you find in a certain place. Oh, this clue says, I work at the zoo. Which community helper is that? Who works at the zoo to help the animals? Oh, it's the zookeeper. The zookeeper helps helps with the animals. So there's a clue card for each one of your helpers and you're going to see if you can find them. Now, if you can't find them on this way, turn them over because you might find a different one on the back. So it'll take some work, but I know you can all do it if you're very smart. Good to see you, friends. Uh, Kat, Mrs. Mormon's going to um, say goodbye. Actually, I'm going to help you guys with something first. Would you get your paper that looks like this? And this paper is 
showing some community helpers on one side and some things on the other side that might help those community helpers. So find either a crayon or a pencil or a marker. I'm gonna use a marker for this. And I'm not gonna do all of them because I want you to have to think too. But let's do one of them together. This guy up here, I wonder what he is. That guy right up here in the corner, I wonder what his job is. What does he do in the community? Hmm. I think he's a chef. Do you think he's a chef? Let's think, what would go with a chef? Would it be a hose, a spatula, a paint can, a special kind of car that looks like a police car, or a stethoscope? What do you think I should draw the line to? Which one goes with that chef? Did you pick the spatula? So we're gonna draw the line from the chef to the spatula like that. So I want you to do all of the ones on this side. I want you to match them with something on that side. Have fun doing that. I'm gonna show you one more thing now. When you flip this paper over on the other side, is something called a graph. Hmm, that's a fancy word. It's just a way for us to organize things so we can understand kind of what we're looking at in a different kind of way. So this says community helpers graphing. And there's a picture here of a whole bunch of community helpers all kind of bunched together. And then there are some community helpers down here at the bottom. There's one, two, three, four, five. And they're lined up with some boxes. Do you see that if you take your finger and go straight up, they're lined up with some boxes? That's a graph. We're gonna make a graph on those boxes. So the first person right here that we're gonna find is a lifeguard. So to make it the easiest, I think, would be for us to go over and circle the lifeguards that we see over here with a pen. I'm gonna use red for lifeguard. So I'm gonna circle this lifeguard. There's one, hmm, two, let's see if there's another one, three. Boys and girls, I found three lifeguards, so I circled three. Now I need to show in my boxes how many there are. So I'm going to make X's in three boxes. One, two, three. When you make your X, start on one side and go from one corner to the other corner. And then go to another corner and go from that corner to that corner. That's how you make an X. Pretty cool. And when you make your X's, start at the bottom with the bottom box. Don't start up here at the top. That would not make sense. When we do graphs, we always start at the bottom and work our way up to fill it up. So how many lifeguards did we find? One, two, three. Now I wanna do a different color for the next one. What's the next one? Can you guys see what that, who that is right there? It's a mailman or a mail carrier. I'm gonna pick blah, blue. So let me get my lid off. And again, to make this a little bit easier for me, I'm going to circle all the mailmen that I see. I see one, two, three, four. Oh, I almost missed one up here. Five. Okay, so if I circled five mailmen, how many X's do I need to show? Hmm, think about it, I circled five, so how many X's will I put? Did you think five? You are correct, so I'm gonna do, hang on here, I'm gonna do one, I'm going from corner to corner, two, three, four, Five. So let's think about this. Do I have the same amount or a different amount between the lifeguard and the mailman? Am I calling them the wrong name? Sorry, if I am. Did I say firefighter before? I might have, but I meant mailman. So, hmm, do I have a different amount here from this one? Yep, I have one, two, three. Let's count how many I have here. One two, three, four, five. Which one has more? Which one has the bigger number? This one. 
five. That's more than three. Which one has the smaller number, boys and girls? Which one is the fewer or smaller? One, two, three. Now you get to finish the rest at home, all of these ones, and see, maybe they'll have, maybe one of these will be the same as one of these two, or maybe they'll all be different, I don't know. You'll have fun finding that out. Thanks for, thanks for watching us today and hearing a story and doing some fun activities with us. And we'll see you again soon, okay? Bye-bye. Bye, kids. Bye.